we see four birds, three grey, one multicoloured, multicultured. At this crossroads in Cricklewood where three London boroughs meet, a bird of community hovers in the middle with its feet and wings arch like wishbones and lift themselves up into the ether of the sky and I recognise the grey birds of Camden, Barnet and Brent but it is with this multicoloured cultured bird I most identify because I feel a bit Jamaican but I'm definitely very Irish in the London born sense don't dare to call me plastic I will display a fence I am Indian and Hindu with just a touch of Africa the tribes of Ghana shown to me through a princess displaced Indians of Kenya captivated my interest Hindu temples, Buddhist shrines, kosher bagels, halal chicken, that solitary C of E village church seems like such slim pickings. Religions of all kinds thrive in this union, but I thought everyone was Catholic on the day I made my first Holy Communion. Christianity was everywhere. Halston's mothers all attended churches. Sons getting stabbed or stabbing, they feel no despair every Sunday empty in their purses. Now Islam has found its place here too. And it's brought haram, habek, hijab. Wars have brought refugees because London calls with its opportunities to Ireland, Africa, West Indies, Afghanistan, Baghdad. The cultures come together, but this is no melting pot. This bird is born of a bold fruit salad, coloured and cultured by the flavours Grey forgot. Feasting or music, food, dreams and art, the real melting happens in Londoners' hearts. And we are golden, gilded birds. Empathy trickles through me and in each of these three directions I have seen acceptance, joy and pity. The trees have bared witness to me. The moon casts its light on the choices that penetrate. I've already ventured down these crossroads, burning bridges I loved, loving those that chose to hate. London has raised me. Praise be, each lesson hard won has glazed me. Johnson said when a man is tired of London, he is tired of life. While Cricklewood has held this crossroads, while Londoners have seen sorrow, celebration and strife. Christy Moore lamented for all the hardship in the 70s, his Irish accent frequented. He said, Cricklewood, Cricklewood, you stole my youth away. When he was building up and tearing England down, Cricklewood was old and it was grey. But not today. Today, creativity commands you to shut up and write. Silk roads shimmer and glimmer in the splendour of the moon's bright light and stars shine and form before us, underneath the sparkle of the windmill's open mind. The people started wishing and aspiration drifted up into the air. Engaged human instinct colours us all, so grey birds need not despair. Thank you very much.